Oh, and Terry, we both love food, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that goes without saying. We already talked about M and M's. We we're talking about ice cream. I mean, we're uh -huh. only a couple of minutes in here, but there's nothing better than rolling out of bed and going out for a delicious breakfast. Oh yeah. Well, today we're taking you to a popular cafe that's known for mouth-watering pancakes, mm -hmm. French toast, fluffy omelets. Homemade bread's okay. Stop right there. I'm really hungry. It's almost lunchtime. We do this all the time to ourselves. So in the best part, as Rachel is about to show us, the real food cafe may be big on taste, but it's easy on your wallet. Ever go to a place where they have a really large, really great menu where everything tastes good? And uh, actually, it's under $10 to find these days. We are at Real Food Cafe and we're talking with one of the owners, Frank Amadeo. You actually own the restaurant with your wife, Renee. Yes. What exactly makes Real Food Cafe so special? Because I know people come, they drive a long way just to eat at your restaurant. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's really great food. We use great ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all homemade. Yeah, and everything from your bread to your granola. Yes, all, all our pastries, all our desserts. It's wonderful. Okay, so you offer a lot on your menu, actually. Yes. Everything from sandwiches to soups to salads, but I know what really makes you very well known and popular is your breakfast. And you even have something named after you. Tell yes. us about that. Well, our Frank's favorite omelet. That's. Uh -huh. um, so Frank's favorite omelet. It's our. It's made real food uh, cafe popular. Is our. It's uh, applewood smoked bacon, mm. fresh baby spinach, cream cheese, tomato, and green onion, and it's an omelet. And those flavors with the smoked bacon and the fresh vegetables are to die for. Yeah, wonderful. Is it one of your favorites? It's my favorite. <laughs> That's why you put your name on it, right? right? I know, as you were saying, fresh ingredients are really what Real Food Cafe is all about. Great value is important as well. I'm looking at these. These are huge. Yes. And again, everything's under $10. Can you tell us about some of these other great dishes sure. that you have made up for us? Well, this is our, this, we run this as a special on weekends. This is our homemade banana bread chocolate chip walnut bread French toast. Okay, that's a mouthful. We make the banana <laughs> bread here. Wonderful. And it's and we make it out of, and we make it into French toast, and we top it with uh, strawberries, bananas, and we put cinnamon whipped cream on top oh, when it goes beautiful, out. Beautiful, Frank. Thank you. What else do we have well, here? This is our malted waffle. It's our healthy start waffle. It's a homemade waffle topped with fresh fruit, strawberries, bananas, blueberries, vanilla yogurt, and our homemade granola. You said you just added waffles to the menu actually we did. a few months Recently. ago. You change your menu up a lot. We do. Which is really nice. We like to have a little change for the, our customers. And you listen to what the customers want. Oh, yeah, want. absolutely. That's why we're, along, we're around here. So. Yeah, okay. And last but not least, this is your veggie hash, which you said is one of your really, really yeah. popular dishes as well. This is our veggie hash. It's We start with all fresh uh, vegetables, our home fried potatoes, fresh spinach, roasted red peppers, green peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, onions. <laughs> it's pretty healthy, right? Cheddar and jack cheese, then we Lots top it with two though. eggs. Yeah. That sounds really delicious. Thank you. Okay, so on a lot of times, you come here and you can get breakfast all day. All day Even long. if you come in at lunchtime. Yes. You're not open for dinner, though. No, no, just breakfast and lunch. Breakfast mm -hmm. and lunch. Mm -hmm. Real Food Cafe, two locations in the area. Not just Real Food Cafe, but real good food. Come and check them out. Oh, man. You know, I always wonder... How does Rachel stay so thin? I know she exercises like mm -hmm. crazy because she told me that she had to sample all four of the dishes Frank made. She couldn't decide which one was best. She said they were all fabulous. They look fantastic. Yeah, and you know, here's the thing though. You can sample the four and then you can save them for more samples later. You don't have to eat like all four at the same time. Exactly. It's yeah. like you don't want to overdo it because too much of a good thing sometimes isn't a good thing, but right. that all looks fabulous. So I'm, I'm up for sampling. <laughs> Free samples. So, and you know the measure of a great cafe when there's regulars who come there every single day. And the Real Food Cafe has quite a following, partly because it is so affordable. Right, exactly. And there are two different locations. Rachel took us to the one on Eastern Avenue near Alger. There's also a location on Northland Drive near West River Drive. 
So two options for mm -hmm. you. And one thing you should remember is that they are closed on Mondays, though. They're open on the weekends, though. Great Saturday, Saturday morning Saturday. treat for yourself. Or Sunday brunch. Uh-huh. Delicious. Oh. Tomorrow, <laughs> we're going to take you to the delicious dessert counter. <laughs> Everything homemade almost daily by the owner's wife. We hope Rachel will be... Um, Bringing back some samples for us, but I, I don't think I think Sky had any of those. I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there and I'm going to order one of those breakfast things and sample that. And I'm going to order one of those desserts and sample that. Save the rest and have some for dinner. Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> so we don't only talk about food. We plan out what we're going what to do. What we're going to have ahead. All right. Well,